I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion and in Colour Passion land today I've had so many requests for doing waves and creating that, that cell action. We have two whites, one is a top cell white, the other is a base cell white. Base meaning it goes on the base, colours on the top, heat it, swipe it, then you get your cell action. It's a different kind of cell action to the top cell white. The top cell is fantastic and my go-to for doing waves and um, and actually for my pores as well. So with what I do, um, that's what I like to use. So I'll share my tips today um, with using the top cell and uh, hopefully it might inspire you to have a go. All right then, thanks for joining me today and let's go and have some fun. Okay, here we are. So I've just been fiddling around in the background. We're going to do Blue Passion with some Max White Sparkle because the sparkle always looks beautiful in that Blue Passion. Going to do the Lorraine Shimmer and we'll use a gel. I was debating whether to use the Teal Lustre or the gel, but I think the Turquoise Gel Tint, I normally do use a gel coming closer to the shore. And today we'll use Creme Deluxe for the sand. And then we've got our Top Passion White Cell. Have to move quickly because I've mixed this up a little while ago because um, the resin didn't seem right, like it had got too cold. So I've actually got that um, in the sink. So I'll just have to see how that uh, performs. Anyway, okay, so we've got our gorgeous blue passion. So give that a good mix, make sure it's thoroughly mixed up in the resin. Yeah, the resin sort of didn't seem really shiny, but I think it's settled down now, so maybe it's warmed up a little bit, not sure. Anyway, okay, so here's our gorgeous Max White Sparkle. It's like little diamonds, it's gorgeous. And I love putting this actually in any of the darker colours. Because it just, as the light hits it, it's just got a beautiful little sparkle in it. If you can see that there, but yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, then we're going to go the Lorraine Shimmer. Um, I've actually got a little bit in another cup that I poured because I want to see what it looked like with that um, resin. So I won't waste it. I'll put it into here. And need a little bit more. Okay. Such a pretty colour, that Lorraine Shimmer. It's more probably on the teal side of things. Let's give that a good mix up. You want to make sure that you mix your uh, paste oil powders, for that matter, properly into your resin. And then the gel tint. Um, which one? I think it's this one here. I'll put a little bit in there, but I'm just going to put a little bit more. And this one's the turquoise. Which will be transparent and the idea is obviously it's near the shore so we don't want a lot of colour in there. Then we've got creme de luxe. I'm actually going to do a video with um, another ocean pour as well, swinging around the colours a little bit differently and seeing how we go. Don't want to put too much of this creme de luxe in, it's perfect for the beach sand but if you put too much in it will go more goldy. So I'm just warning you. Probably put a bit much on already. Anyway, lovely shimmering beach sand. What more could we ask for? Gorgeous colour. And you know, you could add this to any other colours as well um, if you wanted to add a bit of shimmer to it. And then we've got our white, which was our top cell, passion top cell white. All right, so we move on now and have some fun. So, sticks off. so what I'm going to do is I am going to put the blue passion with the sparkle, the dark deep sea, that'll go at the top. I'm so used to doing these on round boards so it's a little odd to be doing it on a rectangular square one. No reason, I just thought I'd do something a bit different. Oops, 
making a nice mess here. Trying to get it all. Oh, goodness me. It's one of those days. Should have stayed in bed, I think, this morning. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I'm just going to spread that out with my spatula. Make sure that it's sort of pretty much covering the board. And I can still move it once I've applied everything and pop some heat over it anyway. But, I'll just do this for now. Okay, see how we go. I've put the tapes around because um, I did want nice edges, so we'll see how we go with that. And if anybody has not watched the video before, basically the idea of the tape is to create a dam of the resin and then after about 20 minutes I will come and remove that tape. By doing that, um, if we've got some nice things happening on the top, it won't all pour over the side and, and it allows it to thicken a little bit and as it comes over the side we'll always get nice coverage and I like nice edges so that is my, my reasoning behind that. Such a pretty colour, gorgeous. This is our Lorraine Shimmer, named after our stockist in Canada, the lovely Lorraine. Pretty. Gee, that's a gorgeous colour. Love it. Okay, then we're going to put our gel tint on, the turquoise. Beautiful, clear um, colour for the ocean, the turquoise. Very popular. that around a bit because that could be like a bit of seaweed underneath the water couldn't it you got to use your imagination don't you with these this makes it a bit more interesting doesn't it rather than just totally clear a little bit there again it's kind of like mixing them a little bit so it's just not too solid going from one color to the next And the resin's going to do what the resin's going to do, but it is nice to sort of just try and influence it a little bit. Still like up there, I still think I want to bring that down just a little bit more. It's for the same reason, I want to make it kind of look like it's not a solid line. anyway in a moment so I'm not worried that it doesn't go right to the bottom I was a bit nervous about this resin I was sort of doing a bit of a practice so I hope I haven't left myself enough but I think I will okay so what I'm going to do actually is just with my fingers with this one Here, it's 
so we're at least covering the board with the resin because once we've covered it of course it's going to make it easier for it to slip and um, I know Erica from Artist or Death always puts um, a clear coat thin clear coat all over the board before she begins she calls it her greasing the pan technique and with that obviously it's going to make it easier for the uh, resin to slip over everywhere which is fine is something I'm not in the habit of doing but I haven't really done it before but anyway this works just fine so continue on it's quite nice actually I don't think I need to even tilt it I was going to tilt it a bit just to make it a bit interesting but um, it's probably all right I'm just wiping up my hands using a favourite Sally Sugar Soap Wipes. They are amazing. I know I talk about them regularly. I'm not sure if we can get them overseas. Somebody could maybe put a comment in below um, and let me know if you can. But we get them from Bunnings here. About $5.60 they are now in Bunnings uh, in Australia. Okay, so now I've decontaminated my hands. What I'm going to do is I am just going to get my torch. Sorry, I should have had that organised. Okay, so that's uh, gotten rid of all the air bubbles that have been brought to the surface in the process of um, stirring it. I actually think I will tilt this. So, just to bring it all down just a smidge. And then tilt it back a bit. It just gives a nice little overlay as well for the, um, the shore here, the shoreline. So hopefully this is all gonna Come along nicely along that bit there. Just want to have enough resin so that, of course, it does pour over the edge. Okay. All right, so now we're going to use the white. Now, with the white, um, I don't like it too thick. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, um, it's just one thing I don't always do this but we'll do it we'll just heat up the white it should just help us slip just that much easier then come down with our heat gun okay, slow that down a bit we can see it a bit better. Sort of almost using this like a, a paintbrush to push it up and lift it up as I'm at the top. actually hasn't got any attachment on the end of this heat gun. I've tried different ones but this seems to work okay. So I'll just leave that in there. That little bit there along the shoreline. And we'll do the next wave. So we'll come along sort of roughly just sort of along here I think. Oop. Again, I don't need to have it all straight and perfect. Um, again, I'm going to... The reason I'm doing that is quite cold here today, so... I'm just going to... 
kill for the long of it. I don't want to go too fast, so I'm just going to come back and push it back a little bit. Don't be frightened to try different things because you don't know until you give it a go what you're going to do with it. So, maybe just a bit of wispy wave, perhaps. You know, with a bit of wind catching it. Okay. So, now we'll do the top one. if you see this okay. Don't mind having a bit more of the blue with this because it's supposed to be out in the deeper ocean, isn't it? Okay, so we'll let this sit and um, I'll come back to it. Uh, I might not leave it 20, maybe even just um, 10, because I want to pull this off so that then this will sort of pull over the side a bit. Okay, I'll be back in just a few minutes. What I will do while I'm waiting for that to set up, I'm just going to run a line across the bottom here. which would be the line on the edge of the wave. There we go. You see how that goes. I probably wouldn't mind actually hitting that a little bit because it looks a bit odd like that. So just trying to think which way I'll go with this. I don't want to upset that there. Can blend it a little bit there. go so we'll see how that sets up I thought I'd also do is just come along with my spatula just with a little bit of white on and just play around with it just a little bit to make it sort of look like it's um, you know uh, how you get that little line and as the waves running back into the ocean so we'll see It's lacing up nicely. Looking forward to this actually. You know what? I think I'm going to pull this, pull it off now. It's only been probably, I don't know, four minutes, but it's, we'll take it off because I do want to make sure that that edge runs off. Oops, damn. That edge runs off okay. Then, as I usually do, always do, 
with my fingers and just running around that edge to make sure that it's wet with resin so that the top can it's got something to stick to when it runs off. Sure, it's not running too much one way. Which I'm concerned that the deep blue sea is uh, running off more than this side, although it was level. So I might just keep an eye on that. Anyway, we'll come back um, in a little while and I'll let you know what it's looking like. Okay, we're back again the next day and just taking you down here. So this is after our that pour we did yesterday, you can see all the gorgeous sparkles here, and that's that Max White sparkle in the uh, Blue Passion. It always comes up so beautiful, and you've sort of got the deeper ocean wave, which I didn't want really white, so I'm happy with that. Um, this is the Lorraine Shimmer, the, the colours down here, which I love that colour. And, uh, and we've got obviously a little bit of wave action happening there as well. And what I did was I just sort of got the spatula and just sort of moved along the bottoms here just to sort of add like a little bit more of um, that wave action looking sort of a bit more normal. Um, we've got the gel tint, which I love to use near the shore. And that one's the turquoise one, which just works beautifully with the, the Lorraine Shimmer. And then we've got down the bottom here, this run off unfortunately quite a bit, but um, uh, maybe I did have too much resin after all of that. Well, remember I took the tapes off um, fairly soon. If I had left it, then it would have sort of solidified a little bit more uh, and it would have held better. But um, um, anyway, it doesn't matter. It still looks all right. So that's the that lovely uh, creme deluxe. And then we've got obviously uh, the wave sort of crashing on the shore. So... Um, yeah, that's overall, that's our, our ocean pour with a bit of uh, lacing. I'm going to actually be doing some more lacing in a different technique altogether. So I'm going to be showing you that in, in coming weeks. Um, it's just a matter of, I'm just waiting for some products to arrive to do that. So, um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Would love you to subscribe. Got some more things coming, some interesting things. And uh, it would help me immensely as I'm building the channel and I'd really appreciate that. So thanks guys for tuning in this week. Have a wonderful week ahead. And remember, if you don't give it a go, you will never, never know. Okay, bye for now.